everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. We already have a card. <laughs> and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 2nd, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings. And of course, join me over at Patreon for just a dollar a month. You can get extra readings and extra content. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. That way you get all the updates about the next live that I'm going to be doing on the Bright platform. So let's see. What are we dealing with for May? That wanted to come out. Oh, my lanta. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there is something experimental some of you are doing. So for you, it might be start. Let me get these in order before I get out of control here. Uh, starting your own business, perhaps, or just trying something new, a new approach. Ooh, and it opens up our energy in a beautiful way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. So we have Page of Michael. Truthful, perspective, uh, analytical, and blunt. An exciting new challenge. That's the thing. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So you're taking a bad situation, perhaps, or something that has been very stressful for you, and you're making it something good. You're making it something really beautiful. Channeling the energy, but you're new at it. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out for us. So then we go into the sun. This is Archangel Uriel. So something comes up that makes you come into your strength through your wisdom, through your know-how. For some of you, this might be going back to something that you've always been very good at. You might even be considered an expert at, but it's just like a side hobby or whatever. You never took it really seriously. Now you're realizing, no, I can be very helpful by doing whatever, okay? Or offering uh, some advice to somebody who's going through what you once went through if they ask for it. Only if they ask for it. All right. <laughs> Life is wonderful. This is the sun. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So again, some sort of success coming out of something unexpected. Something that you thought, yeah, that's done. It's over. Or yeah, I know how to build a house, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> Everybody cares. Okay. Everybody freaking cares. So this might be you bringing something uh, back and bringing it into fruition. And I'm telling you, it, it's really heavy on old projects that maybe you had to give up on because they weren't paying. And maybe you had to switch your energy to making money so that you could pay your bills and all of that. And some of the passion projects got shoved off to the side. There is this resurgence for that. And again, some of you that have been in really bad situations, you're somehow using what you've learned through that to come on through and create something else. And then we have the Empress. So this is the kind of energy, you know, the pinnacle of divine feminine energy, the divine nurturance and really following the divine path and understanding yourself through that lens. Okay. Not only that, the Empress is talking about giving birth to something, a new situation, Creativity, all of that. It's Archangel Gabriel. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, or abundant resources. Someone is coming through. Now, this could be um, an older, someone who's older than you, an older female who's wiser, again, Uriel with that wisdom, coming through and saying, hey, you're making things too hard on yourself. Hey, you think it's not possible, but that's just because you don't know about X, Y, and Z over here. I'm thinking about in my writing how often I will accidentally, right? Accidentally <laughs> hear of another writer talk about a software or something. And they're like, it made my life so much easier to use this to organize my novels. Wait, what? That exists? What? You know, you could get a little hot tip from somebody who has been there before you and says, yeah, here, this, this will make it a lot easier. Something that you've been really stressed about. Here's this way to automate how to calculate that or, you know, whatever, right? So some information coming through, but more this is about expression, um, but not even having to express through words or even art or, I mean, this is about creativity, but it's more than that. It's about expressing through the light that you carry and just being just wherever you are. You don't have to show yourself. You just are, right? So that's that kind of energy there. And then we have Knight of Raphael. So be careful, some of you out there, if you're single, someone's like trying to come in and sweep you off your, off your feet. Um, just make sure it's real and it's grounded before you start proceeding forward, okay? So this says romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Why does this feel so Piscean? It really does. Committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, okay? Uh, situations or topics that make your heart 
flutter. Now, for some of you, this might actually be romance, but remember, if it, if it is like a romantic option for you, you carry this energy, this person's carrying this energy, however you want to look at that. So make sure, it could be someone who comes in and is like, baby, I can make you so happy. And you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Do tell. Let me, let me get my popcorn and see how well this goes. Uh, so, yeah, just be aware of that. In other cases, this is, some of you, again, you have this, this creative life force going on, but you feel like this and expressing it. Like, it kind of comes out a little melodramatic, maybe, or whatever. And some of you might literally be poets who are trying to, you know, come out and make poetry. And the first couple of rounds, you're like, what the heck was this? Yeah, welcome to being a writer. You'll write 20 million things and every single time you read it, you feel good about it, then you don't. Then you feel good about it, then you don't, right? <laughs> so just be careful with this. And this, for a lot of us, I think is, again, how we express and how we put things out there. We have all of this great, you know, inspiration coming through us, but then something might get lost in translation as you're trying to put it out there, but it's okay. You're gonna be able to figure it out. All right, let's get some more cards here. Comment down below what I just did. If you follow my channel at all, you know what I just did. I dropped the deck. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. And I panicked. I always panic too. All right, like something really bad's gonna happen if I drop it. Like, ugh. love, you guys. Aw, that's so sweet. Aww. Make sure it's real love. Not like these phony, weird people. <laughs> phony, weird people. I, I don't know what that means, but love love of life love for the work that you're doing love for the environment that you're in love for another person okay it's good it's good but you got to be open to it and what's this healing oh see look at this you're tapping into who you really are and letting that take over so we're not being so pulled by a surface level story anymore and i love that because that is indicating that we are getting into our fifth dimensional selves our fifth dimensional energy and coming from a place of love and allowing all the stuff that didn't work before to flow away. And that's not in this, you know, self-righteous, pretentious kind of way of, I don't look at the past. Well, that's nothing to brag about. I mean, <laughs> did you heal it? <laughs> is it really, or are you still, you don't want to go there because you still need that healing, right? You, you're avoiding. So there's that. All right. So we have brown. This is sandalfin. This is earth star chakra energy. When we tune into that, and we're balancing ourselves out, there is room for new growth, like this little plant here. Okay, brown, established boundaries, the number is 12. Again, coming from your wisdom, it reduces to three. Three is the number of, you know, divine masters, you know, ascended masters. So when we're looking at all of this in context together, something beautiful is opening up. Something new is being born, is growing, but you have to be willing to flow with it. And what I feel like, it's like a lot of us would get scared and clamp down. Like almost like we're afraid we're going too much out on a limb by believing in ourselves. Or we're going too much out on a limb to think that we can have something good. And yeah, there might be some adjustment. There might be some things that need to come of it. But remember, all of those shame tactics that go on in our world, you should be married by a certain time. Uh, you should have a house by a certain age. It should be this much money. You should never have debt. <laughs> Most rich people have debt. Um, you know, you should, you, and if you have those things and you're bad, and as a matter of fact, we're going to put this number on it to determine how much you're worth and if we'll work with you or not. You know what I mean? Like there are all these things and I feel like you're starting to break out of this because those are the things that steal the love from your day to day is this uh, imposed guilt and shame over constructs put in place here in the United States. There's a whole lot of like fast food nation pushing, right? To where it is popular to binge eat on it and film it and, you know, all this stuff. And then when people start having health issues, well, and then you get all the fat shamers out there. It's like, you need to be better. You need to be, don't you know that that stuff is laden with chemicals that makes people dependent on it? Don't you know that that stuff destroys their natural metabolism? And so their body is short circuiting and doesn't know what it wants anymore. It just knows it needs energy. And so it kind of, you know what I mean? Like the, I understand that wholeheartedly. I grew up on 
processed foods. And so, <laughs> like, I get it. But people who don't know what it is to go through that are commenting on it. You see what I'm saying? It's this whole shame tactic. It's to, how can I find a way to put myself above you? I'm going to attack whatever I see in you. That could be a flaw, right? So we're coming out of that. That's my whole point. We're aware of it. We see it. We're healing it. We're getting grounded. We're saying, no, you're not stealing my joy. I don't care what story you're putting out there. At the end of the day, this is all an illusion, right? Especially the stories that we're being told about us. And so we get to find ourselves and define who we are. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.